Welcome back, week 12 here. It's been about two weeks since we've been in these hives here. Um, so by my calculations, this first hive here, uh, we put some queen cells in there a couple of weeks ago. They should have hashed out by Sunday. Today is that following Saturday, so it's been uh, about six days since those queen cells should have hatched. Uh, if that went well, we should see um, eggs in there. That queen should have already went on a mating flight and came back um, and start to lay some eggs. So we'll get in, take a quick look around, um, and, and basically just do an assessment. So quick hive inspection there. Uh, same thing on the back hive. Again, just make sure that that's looking good. Um, if there's not a queen in here, I'm gonna look for some queen cells in that front hive, or excuse me, in that back hive behind me. Uh, and basically just try to, again, kind of keep helping them to make the right decision. I don't know what to do at this point. So we'll see, uh, I'll go ahead and dive in and uh, we'll take a look. So it's been about two weeks since we put this sugar water on here. Still about half full. So they're not taking it as, uh, as much as I guess I'd like. Um, so we'll take a look, see if they're actually putting any comb down up top here. Looks the exact same as uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that, uh, that one we just took a look at was um, the one we moved out from uh, from the bottom a couple of weeks ago, there's nothing going on up here. So uh, I'm not sure what they're doing. It may be a pretty status quo right now uh, with the population of the hive just continuing to decline. All right, no signs of a queen. So third attempt failed again. So I uh, guess we'll just see if we've got any maybe queen cells in this hive and we'll move them over here. Um, other than that, I, I don't know, I guess I'm at a, a loss again. So I'm um, gonna probably go in and do some research after this one, not entirely sure what the, the next step is. Just trying to avoid buying a queen. I think it's kind of neat to see nature maybe take its course and. Uh, they decide that they want to make a new queen. Um, so we'll see. Um, not too worried about it. This hive is doing pretty well behind me. So we'll, uh, we'll dive in there and see if we, uh, we see anything that we can kind of uh, make work for us in this situation. So if you recall in this hive here, um, they're really gang busting down below, starting to build some comb up top. So we're just gonna get in, take a quick look, see if we see any queen cells in this one. I may try to steal a frame of eggs again. Um, we'll just try this again. So steal a frame of eggs, uh, maybe some, some day old larva put in this hive. Uh, and then we will also see if we see any queen cells, see if we can steal that and put in this hive as well. Uh, with that, we'll just dive in, see how this top box is looking uh, and kind of take it from there. Okay, so this hive looks awesome right now. They're doing a great job keeping up uh, and Queen's doing a good job. Still a lot of eggs uh, in the frames, cap brood everywhere. Uh, again, a couple of weeks, I think this population's gonna just keep kinda uh, going up. So this second frame here that I've got, well, I guess the first one now, um, it's got larva, eggs, I mean, everything at all different stages. So. I'm going to try to get all the bees off of here, put it in this hive behind me. Um, looked up, some people were talking about on the spot queen rearing OTS. Uh, I guess you just notch out some, some spots in here to allow them to basically build better queen cells. I don't really know what to expect. So I'm gonna shake some bees off here, notch out a, a spot in this guy, uh, and then put it in this back hive behind me uh, and just kind of do a frame swap on one of these guys. So. We'll see what happens. I don't know.
So I just want to make sure the queen wasn't on there and she's not. Um, so what I'm going to do is just find some what they, I guess they're saying three day old larva, uh, and some eggs and just make a notch. So they'll uh, try to build these queen cells right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just notch, uh, notch some of these guys out right here. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll drop a a queen cell right here, uh, and then we'll do it again over here, uh, just to see if we can get a couple going. So I tried to notch that across some eggs and some. Uh, some younger larvae that have already hatched. So you can see there's some eggs in here, some young larvae, uh, and then the same thing here, some eggs all the way across to some young larvae. So we'll see if they build anything. I'll do the same thing on this side. We've got some, uh, again, cap brood. You can see uh, this here is just, it's called cap brood. Um, so that's just uh, basically eggs larvae that have uh, are working on pupating and the bees have covered it with a, a wax capping right now so we'll have uh, some bees come out of here um, and so I'll just go ahead and do the same thing kind of work on creating a queen cell on one of these So we'll see. Um, so when we check back here in a, a couple of weeks, uh, we'll remember that this frame we had um, one over here. Uh, so we've got some honey, some cap brood. So we've got one spot there. And when we flip this guy back over, we've got one uh, pretty big spot here and then another one right here. So we've got three spots on this. So we'll check back in a couple of weeks and we'll see how they look. So, all right, so to quickly sum up, um, this hive, still no queen as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm gonna try what we're calling an OTS um, queen rearing. Um, so I'm gonna pull a, a frame of eggs, some just hatched larva, move it over here. Um, so we just looked at what that looks like. Um, so I'm gonna pull a frame from here and move it over here just so we have the same amount of frames and everything's gonna button up nicely. Uh, so with that, now, I'm just going to try to find a, an empty frame inside of here. What I'll probably end up doing is moving one of my uh, good frames from here down so the queen can keep laying. Uh, and then I'll move an empty frame inside of here. Um, so in the top box, they'll just keep building that comb. So this frame here looks promising. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it down. Uh, and then we'll put an empty frame inside of here and hopefully they'll keep building that comb. All right, so just to review, we notched here, and then we went ahead and we notched here and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in this way. So again, that's our fourth frame, one, two, three, four. The two notch side is here, the one notch side is there. So with that, I'm just gonna go butt this thing up. We'll check back in a couple of weeks. With that, we'll wrap up week 12. Uh, kind of a bust, I would say. Third try at a queen in this box here, still nothing. This hive, really looking pretty good right now. Uh, don't know, just keep feeding these guys. Hopefully, they'll keep building, keep getting stronger, uh, and hopefully, my, my end goal is make it through winter. Um, this hive here, same end goal, but right now, I'm uh, thinking short term, let's get a queen. So. We tried, uh, I believe, what we're calling OTS method for queen rearing. We'll see what happens. Do them in a frame, 
I've got another frame of brood larva. We'll see if they make one. Uh, we are in the uh, at first at the end of the first week of August now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if these guys are going to keep going. Uh, may have to end up rejoining these hives together. Uh, we'll see how it kind of goes. I, I don't know. With that, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and wrap up week 12. I'll probably just check back on these guys here in about two weeks, see if anything's kind of changed. Um, and then same thing with these guys. They're looking really good. So I'll check back uh, and I'll see you guys at week 14. So thanks for tuning in.